function we will uh, derive an expression for acceleration of a block sliding on a smooth inclined plane. So, this is a very small thing, but uh, what happens is uh, initially it becomes very difficult for us to understand the resolution of that weight m g somewhere it comes some m g sin theta, m g cos theta. Carefully we will study how to resolve that m g and derive an expression for acceleration. Okay. In the case of smooth inclined plane, this is very simple because friction is absent however. Let me consider inclined plane, it is an inclined plane. Say the angle of inclination is theta and this is smooth inclined plane, okay. smooth inclined plane, smooth means there is no friction frictionless. Okay. So, mass is there here that is sliding on an inclined plane. Let us uh, see which are all the forces acting on the mass. One force uh, which is acting is m g, okay. m g, m g is acting downwards. Now, to calculate the acceleration along the inclined plane, we have to calculate what is the force along the inclined plane. Now, this m g is not acting on the inclined plane na, or acting along the inclined plane. Okay. If there is a body, if the, if the mass is uh, falling freely, then m g itself is responsible for m g itself is responsible for acceleration of the mass then what is the acceleration a is equal to g correct na now entire mg is not acting uh, along the inclined plane so we have to find the component of mg along the inclined plane and we'll find the component of mg perpendicular to the inclined plane how to find the component of a vector say if uh, there is a vector if there is a vector a, how to find out component of vector a along x axis? We should drop a perpendicular from the head of vector a on x axis. So, this will be x component, correct. Now, if you have to find component of m g along, along the inclined plane, then I should drop a perpendicular from the head of the vector on this line. I should drop a perpendicular. Now, this will become this will become component of m g along the inclined plane. Now, I should if I draw a perpendicular here, so this will become the component of m g perpendicular to the inclined plane. Okay. Now, uh, if this angle is theta, this angle is theta, this angle also will be equal to theta. Okay. How we will see? Uh, say this is a inclined plane, this is one inclined plane and this is the normal, normal. Here the angle of inclination is 0. If the inclined plane is given an inclination equal to 30 degree, this also rotated gets rotated by 30 degree. Na? See, angle between this normal and the vertical was 0, angle between this inclined plane and the horizontal was 0. Angle of inclination 30 degree is given. Now, angle between this normal and vertical also becomes 30 degree. So, if uh, this angle is theta, angle between vertical and the normal, this will be theta or we can see, we can prove mathematically also. How to do it is, see here we have many rectangle triangles, one rectangle triangle is this, this is one rectangle triangle, see this is one rectangle triangle, this is one rectangle triangle. Okay. Now, uh, see if this angle is theta, this angle is uh, 90, this angle you know, this is 90 minus theta. Ninety minus theta. See this right angle triangle, you see this. In this right angle triangle,
this is theta, this is 90, then should be nine, this should be 90 minus theta. So, that if you add these three angles, you should get 180. So, 90 plus 90, 180 minus theta plus theta, 180. Okay. Then, see this angle here is 90, correct? Na? This angle here is 90. So, if this is 90 minus theta, this should be theta, so that this plus this should be 90. Na? So, 90 minus theta plus theta, theta theta gets cancelled. So, this is theta. If this angle is theta, then this angle will also be equal to theta. Okay. If this angle is theta, this is 90 degree. Okay. So, this is hypotenuse. For this theta, this is adjacent side. So, this is mg cos theta mg cos theta. <coughs> Define cos theta in that uh, right angle triangle mg cos theta because adjacent side is hypotenuse into cos theta and this will be opposite side na opposite side length of this will be mg sin theta if, if length of this is mg sin theta length of this is also mg sin theta. So, this is mg sin theta this is mg cos theta. Now, what mg cos theta is doing? mg cos theta is trying to pull the block in this direction, but the block is not coming in that direction, so that mg cos theta is a waste. Now, mg sin theta is the force acting along the inclined plane. So, mg sin theta, mg sin theta is responsible for acceleration of m. So, m m gets cancelled or you can simply write mg sin theta is equal to f, f is equal to m into a. So, therefore, acceleration on smooth inclined plane acceleration equal to g sin theta. In loss of motion chapter in the case of inclined plane or in at many places this re resolution will come. So, you need to understand the resolution of vector uh, carefully. <coughs> 